All right, so I want to show you guys something real quick. Now, I know you may have heard or maybe not heard of Project Bluebeam before, which is an entire topic to go look at in and of itself. But for my more advanced listeners right now that may be already familiar with this topic, let's see what happens when we just type in Bluebeam on Google and then just do a little bit of research here in this video. So here we have Bluebeam, right? We scroll, scroll down. And when we go to the Wikipedia page for this, you'll see it says, of course, it is known as an American software company founded in 2002 and headquartered in Pasadena, California, United States, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So as we scroll down here some more, it says, in October 2014, Bluebeam was acquired by Netcheck for $100 million dollars and the company's software has more than 1.6 million viewers, right? So let's click that on Nemechek. The Nemechek Group, might not be pronouncing that correctly, is a vendor of software for architects, engineers, and the construction industry. Doesn't seem uh, anything too unusual, but the company develops and distributes software for planning, designing, building, in managing buildings and real estate as well as for media and entertainment, right? So as we scroll down more here to the 21st century, it says two major company takeovers followed in 2000. The American firm Deal Grapsoft, now Vectorworks, and Maxon Computer GmbH with its Cinema 4D software for visualization and animation. In 2006, Nemechek acquired Hungary's Graphics Software's key product, ArcCAD, and Belgium's SCIA International. So if you know about Project Bluebeam to some extent, you'll understand that it's said to be some type of holographic, weird, uh, you know, uh, apocalyptic type of event that uh, many different quote-unquote religions would see their own version of it in the sky based off of topographical uh, areas, right? So when we click on Max and Computer GmbH here, it will take you to the German software company that produces software solutions for content creators. And it says the company's product lines include 3D software, Cinema 4D, and Red Giant tools. So when we actually go to their website here, it gets even weirder. Because when you read the names of some of these things, you're like, what in the heck is going on? Especially in the context of Project Bluebeam. So it says, Maxon 1 fall release brings massive performance boost and new features. Cinema 4D. 3D computer animation, modeling, simulation, and rendering software. Redshift, the world's first fully GPU accelerated biased render or render of graphics. Red Giant. Red Giant. Get all the Red Giant tools. Universe. Video transition and effects. Plugins for editors and motion graphics artists. ZBrush, the industry standard for digital sculpting and painting. Forger, the mobile sculpting app designed for artists by artists. With all that being said, I just think it's interesting how just by typing in Bluebeam, we can, if you do even a little bit of research, start to deep dive into all these other things that does tie into the actual conspiracy, or I don't even like to say conspiracy because... Anytime you hear the word conspiracy, you got to research it because the CIA actually created that terminology. Uh, but do you think it's interesting that this is what you find when you research it? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Or maybe you can elaborate. Thanks.